Can you feel the magic in the air? Many high schoolers across the state probably do because it's almost prom season. But with prices rising, the magical moment is going to cost their families. Emmeline Ivey joins us with more. Emmeline. Yeah, Monica, when most people think of prom, they picture dancing with that special someone with all their classmates gathered around. But what you might not think about is the lead up. For many boys, that's a haircut, tuxedo, and flowers. For girls, that can be hair, makeup, nails, tans, the dress, jewelry, and even shoes. And you can't forget the shared costs for things like the limo, tickets, photos, and after prom festivities. I spoke with a mom and her son who say they've definitely noticed the costs going up. That dress was actually upcycled. It's a day Casey Norman will always look back on fondly. I remember prom being super fun. It was like a magical part of high school. For Casey, it was a fairy tale come true. My prom dates for my senior year and then his senior year is my current husband and going on 24 years together. So yeah, it definitely created a spark and kind of kept the spark there. She says her most expensive dress was about $175, coming to about $250 for the whole getup. She says her husband's tux and shoes came to about $80. But for her son, Evan Norman, to experience the same rite of passage, they'll have to shell out a bit more. I, I was pretty worried because I knew it was going to be expensive, but <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting like having to drop like a whole paycheck. It made me kind of not want to do prom. He says his girlfriend noticed dresses ranging from $250 to upwards of $1,000. Evan says after searching for the best bang for his buck, he purchased his suit, shirt, and tie for a total of $136. But surprisingly, he says it would have cost more to rent a suit at about $200 for the night. But despite the cost and the cheesy music, I don't know if that was just a century thing or what, but the music wasn't that good. Evan still got his special moment. It was definitely a good memory to have. It was a good experience. And looked good while doing it. Well, Casey is a seamstress herself and says the best ways to save are to look around at thrift stores and search the internet for things you can have tailored to fit. She says her business Altered Ego Sewing can help. You can find a link to her Facebook on our website.